All right. Hey guys. Um, I have not really uploaded anything in a while, but I discovered this thing and there weren't really any tutorials anywhere showing anyone how to do this thing. So I figured, aha, a niche to fill. So now I'm making this video. Essentially what I figured out how to do, as I'm assuming you've guessed from the title of the video, is custom player animations in vanilla Minecraft. So that means no mods, no nothing like that. Like in an animation, I mean, like, look, I'm hitting stuff, right? Walking, right? right? Shifting, shifting, swimming's an animation, right? Customized animations. You can add your own. You can probably edit the default ones, etc. in vanilla Minecraft. So no mods, nothing, just data packs, or even just commands if you want. So... I discovered this because I was looking through Blockbench and I found a plugin called Animated Java. And essentially what this plugin does is you create a model, right, as you would normally edit it, paint it, then you animate it. And then in the settings, I'm not going to show you how to use Animated Java. You can Google a tutorial on that. Like there's there's probably a couple out there. I used one. so. I know there's at least one, um, but you fill out all this stuff, and then when you export it, um, it creates in your game a data pack and a resource pack. And essentially what it does is it allows you to animate stuff like, um, I'll give you an example. Uh, this is a boss for a data pack that I'm currently working on, and I've got like a walking animation, I've got a couple of tacks, um, and it lets you, what most people use it for is most people use it to create like monsters or like custom entities, right? With custom animations. Um, because what it does is it takes all these items, it takes all these like pieces, these bones rather, and puts them onto armor stands. So when you export this into a game, um, you can summon a model which I will show you how to do. You just do function, um, player model, or whatever the name of your model is. Player model summon slash default. And it summons uh, whatever your model is. Now, then you can use separate commands to run animations on it, like this. Now, <clears throat> What I thought was, okay, well, most people are using this for mobs, but what if you could, like, animate the player? So, essentially, what I've done is I've created this example resource pack, which, when I upload this video, you can download the example that I'm using from my Patreon in the description. And, essentially, what this does is... It contains a player model. If you want, you can, like, go into the file and change the skins, right? Um, so that it looks like your player. Um, and it has all the, the pack, the example will have all of these um, animations in it. So these animations I've just created um, to kind of showcase what you can do with this because the idea is you would create an animation for something like maybe like an emote clapping or an emote like this one. This is a looping animation I made. Um, or you could make like custom attacks. For instance, I've made this. It's intended to be like you shoot a laser out there. Or this. I'm not sure you could use this for whatever. Um, but obviously, as I'm sure most of you have noticed, this is not me. I'm still over here with the normal boring Minecraft animations. I'm not making those animations. So it's pretty easy to have your player model do these or make it look like your player model is doing these. All you have to do is create a data pack, and essentially that data pack, what, what will happen is you'll want to make a couple files for like when you want your animations to play, etc., stuff like that, right? And what you'll do is you'll create it so that when a command is triggered, right? Or you'll you'll make some kind of trigger, right? When it's triggered, um, you'll summon one of these models, one of these armor stand models, right? Um, put one of these commands in to make it play the animation. Um, and then after a certain timer is done counting down, 
you'll probably want to make that timer the duration of your animation. Um, it will destroy the model, and and then you'll be back to being you again. And obviously, you'll want it, to, and then you'll want to make it. Um, you want to make your like actual player model invisible while it's doing this. So to sum it up, make your player model invisible. Summon one of these. Run the animation. Delete the one. Like delete these, and then make yourself visible again. So the way this works in reality. So that if you want to see this actually at work, is if I do slash function scripts um, colon clap. It does that. Function scripts clap. It does that. It you do a little clapping thing. Now, obviously, there are certain limitations to this. It's not perfect. This is just a concept, after all. For instance, your shadow disappears because you're turning invisible. Um, it, this doesn't work in um, multiplayer without some sort of plugin to um, get a player's skin because. Obviously, you can only have one skin in the file, or you could actually have multiple skins, um, but you would have to have the, all all of those skins put into the resource pack file. Um, and there, there's there's several limitations. For instance, as I'm sure you've noticed, like if you click this button, like it's a little bit choppy. It's not perfectly smooth. It's a ch it's slightly choppy. It's kind of it's not perfect. Um. But all in all, it kind of allows the functionality to do something that previously could only be done with mods, albeit a little jankier than it is with mods. Um, yeah, and so there's a lot of cool functions that you could do for this. Um, for instance, I've created a couple things just to kind of demonstrate. So you can see um, that this laser one I made over here, right? Um, I have created an actual laser for it. So if I go here and I click... Oh, and I do function um, scripts scripts uh, laser right. If I do this, now obviously I'm facing it, so you can't really see the full effect of it. Um, but essentially, what that did was it ran this animation off of my player, like I did with the clap one. And it fired a laser forward. So if I do a function, I'll, I can do it from first person as well. Scripts laser. Now you can see it's kind of fading away. But yeah, there was a laser there. Another one I've created is kind of like a thunder attack. So I'll demonstrate it on these poor sheep over here. It uses the other animation that I showed you. Um, if I do, let me go into not first person but the third person if I do function scripts dot thunder we rise up lightning has I don't know if you can hear me over that sound but lightning has struck um, every living entity within a certain radius of us that's where that this fire is here where the sheep are no longer um, so yeah, I think this is a really cool, um, I think this is a really cool functionality that I appear to be the only person to have discovered so far, um, because I couldn't find any tutorials on how to do it, nor have I found any data packs utilizing this. So yeah, if you want to get, like, the jump on making custom player attacks or, like, walking animations, etc., etc., um, then yeah, I would recommend uh, testing this out, downloading the um, downloading the plugin for Blockbench and figuring out how to do this for yourself. Or, as always, uh, like I said, you can download oops, you can download um, this pack in my Patreon, which again will be down in the description. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys like this style of concept video, because most of the time I've been doing, like, on this channel, I've been doing tutorials, but I wanted to try, I wanted to, I wanted people to, um, be able to do this kind of custom player animation thing, um, and I didn't really have time to, um, explain, like, a whole thing about how to, um, I didn't really have time to explain a whole thing about how to like use like Blockbench, how to use this plugin, etc. Because and there's already tortu uh, tutorials, tutorials <laughs> on YouTube on how to use um, the animated Java plugin, 
and so I, I but I really would like to see this in a couple data packs and stuff because I think it's a really cool functionality that it appears not very many people have thought of. So yeah, let me know if you guys like this kind of concept video. I might do more stuff like this in the future where instead of a flat out tutorial, I'm just like, oh, here's a cool thing I discovered. Um, here's sort of how to do it. See if you like it, go try it out. I might be doing more stuff like this in the future. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you like this. Um, like the video if you liked it. If you want to see more stuff like this or if you want to see like actual tutorials, like command tutorials and stuff, because um, I do have a lot of stuff like that on the channel. Hit subscribe. Maybe you'll find something worth making. And yeah, hope you have a great day. I don't know how to do intros. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta.